today the video I am making is on something I have been asked like dozens and dozens of times and that is how to prolong your hair color or how to keep it from fading. Now, short little disclaimer, I am not a hairdresser, I am not affiliated with any hair color company in any way, so I'm not a professional. Um, however, I have taken cosmetology in school, so I do know a bit about what I'm talking about. I also have uh, several friends that are hairdressers that I get my information from whenever I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and I've also dealt with a lot of different brands and I've had many artificial colors um, throughout the past 10 years and I have a little bit of experience with, with dealing with hair color, fading and different brands and stuff like that. So take what I say if you want to and if you don't, that's fine by me. But I'm just going off of my experiences and what commonly works. So step number one is wash your hair in cool or cold water. Now I know this is something that's really, really hard for a lot of people to do because they can't take cold water. Um, it definitely will help. It's one of the biggest things that's going to help your hair color. Um, by using colder water, it helps to keep your hair cuticles more closed, which will then keep the hair color locked in longer. It's not gonna fade out. The hotter the water, your cuticles open up and it just wants to release everything that's in, in your hair strands. So cool water definitely will help a lot. Now, I'm not saying you have to um, take an ice cold shower, just wash your hair. What a lot of people do is if you don't wanna stand under cold, freezing cold water to wash your hair, um, you can just do it in your sink after your shower or before, whichever works for you. And if you really can't do that, or you just can't stand the cold water in any way on your head, like if you've got a sensitive scalp or anything like that, you just can't do it. Step number two. To help prolong the hair color is actually about once every two or three weeks. When you condition your hair after a wash, add like a toony size drop of hair color just into your conditioner and like mix it around and like coat your hair really well and then let the conditioner sit for like five minutes and it'll just help to stain your hair again just to brighten it up especially if it's like a like a lighter color like pink or blue or something it'll just help to brighten it up a bit more um and i find that actually really helps rule number three keep out of the sun if you can I know this is really hard, especially in places that have long sunny summers and no winter or anything like that. Um, where I live, I luckily have winter for like six months of the year. So it is often cold and yeah, there's still sun, but you know, we always wear like a toque or whatever. It's just, I don't know. I don't enjoy summer anyway, so I'm fine. Um, the sun is going to lighten your hair like crazy. And those of you that have a dark hair color, will know this all too well. I used to have black hair for several years and in the summer it would always fade to brown so fast. Um, if you are into wearing hats, that'll help tie up your hair, you know, like in buns or whatever, protect it if you're gonna be going out for a hike or out to the beach or whatever. The more you protect it from the sun, the longer it is gonna last in the summertime. Now also with it being hot out, try not to get your hair um, into like pools with chlorine. Chlorine fades color like crazy as well, like there's so many harsh chemicals in there and it just, it'll strip your hair color really quickly if you go swimming often. So another thing like I do, just put it up in a bun or something and try to keep it out of the chlorine because that is not great for artificial hair colors. <laughs> Number four. Always use heat protectants on your hair color. It is always a good idea, even if you don't have colored hair or anything like that. Heat protectants will just always keep your hair looking awesome, especially if you blow dry and straighten and curl and do whatever, or if you wash your hair in hot water. It's just really good to always use a heat protectant to help protect your hair any other way that you can. Number five 
which brings us to number five. Use less heat tools on your hair if you can. Um, I know these days, like, everyone and their mothers uses a heat tool, whether it's a blow dryer, a curling iron, a straightener, um, hot rollers, whatever, really. Try to tone it down if you can. Like, don't straighten your hairs often, or do it less times in a week. Um, turn down the temperature on your straightener. If you have your, temp if you have your straightener up to, like, 250, maybe, you know, turn it down to 2 and use a heat protectant, you know, it might it might take you a little longer to get the nice and straight, like over it a couple times. Um, I know for myself, like I used to blow dry my hair and straighten it um, because I have really stupid hair when it air dries, but it was getting pretty damaged on the bottom. So I started using cooler water to wash. Then I would not blow dry at all. I would always let it air dry. And then I would just straighten with a heat protectant and it helps a million, like it's, it definitely is a big help, using less heat on your hair. Number six. Another one to do with the shower is don't shampoo your hair every single day. Even if the bottle says safe enough for daily use or whatever, if you have a box color, salon color, semi-permanent color on your hair, washing it with that soap every day is going to slowly strip out the color. It's just gonna happen, that's just how it, that's just how it is. Um, try to at least go every other day, and if you can even, if you have some dry shampoo, go like wash it once a week if you can, or twice a week. Washing it less is definitely going to keep the color locked in longer, because you're not gonna be opening the cuticles, scrubbing it all out, whatever, and then using the heap tools again, like you're just doing it a whole process. So if you cut that down a bit, that'll definitely help you in the long run. Now, last but not least, is another pretty important one. Um, when you color your hair at a salon or by yourself at home, whatever you do, it's pretty critical that you wait like 48 hours or so before you shampoo that fresh hair color because it needs time to set. Like, yeah, if you use a semi-permanent color like Manic Panic or something, you let it sit in for only half an hour, you rinse it out in cold water or cool water and you just let it sit. You don't wanna jump right in the next day with all those shampoos and you're scrubbing the color. Like, let that stuff like bite into your hair. Like, let it last as long as you can. Um, it will drastically keep the hair color like in your hair. It's just gonna like, grab right in there. I know it's it's super weird and a lot of people don't believe it, but just try it once with your next time. Just, it's better to be safe than sorry. Like, would you rather just wait the two days and wash it and possibly have longer lasting hair? Or do you need to scrub it the next day? Like, girl, I don't think so. So that is it. That is all the tips I have for you guys today on your hair color prolonging. Hopefully it will help you out with the next time you um, wanna color your hair and hopefully keep it really nice looking and super shiny and great. <laughs>